Okay, so step one, we need to open Microsoft Excel. You can find the program on the start menu or sometimes it's saved onto your desktop. Once you have the program opened, we need to transfer the data from the PowerPoint slide into Excel. So copy the following table into Sheet 4. Okay, and into Sheet 4. Good. Once that's done, we have to copy the left half of the data to Sheet 2, making sure we paste it into the cell labeled A1. We copy the right half of the data from Sheet 4 to Sheet 3, making sure to paste it in the cell labeled A1. Now, if we click on the View tab at the top of the screen, we can select the small arrow beneath Macros, the very icon on the far right, and click Record Macro. And you'll see this little dialog box that pops up. In the field labeled Macro Name, we're going to type Graph Maker, one word, capital G, capital M, no spaces for future reference. If you want a space, you would use an underscore. In the field labeled shortcut, type G. You'll be able to use the keys Control plus G to run the macro. Click OK. Now we select Sheet 2. We want to click on the arrow beneath macros again and choose Stop Recording. Now select the image above macros or view macros. Click Edit. And this will open the screen that you can use to directly write the macro. This is called Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications VBA. Alright, so we're going to notice that the following code is already written. Click after select and press enter on the keyboard. Now we're going to copy and paste the following code into the macro. So go back to the PowerPoint, skip a few slides down. We're going to copy this code from the PowerPoint and transfer it to Excel. Okay, the code will rearrange the data into a single column. First it counts the number of rows and columns, then it goes down each column after the first and cuts and pastes each value beneath the previous into the first column. Okay, now we're going to hit enter and type sheets in parentheses sheet 3, select, and we're going to copy and paste the above code again. Okay. This time we're going to delete the dim lines below the variable already defined and hit enter. Awesome. Now we're going to go back to the PowerPoint and copy and paste a new code into the macro. I'm going to switch back to the standard Excel screen by clicking the Excel icon on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. We choose the option entitled Microsoft Excel rather than Microsoft Visual Basic. Then we press Control G or we could go to View, Macros and then select Run and the macro runs. Alright, just some tips, troubleshooting tips. If you made a mistake, an error message may be displayed when you attempt to run the program. If you click debug, the line of the code that caused the issue will be highlighted. You must press reset, the blue square button at the top of the screen before you can attempt to run the macro again. If you click end, you will have to find the issue yourself, but you will be able to run the macro again without needing to hit the reset button. Click record macro again. This time, name the, the macro test and assign the key T to it. Okay. Select columns A and B, change to the Insert tab, and click Scatter in the Chart section. Choose the very first option, Scatter Plot No Lines. Resize the graph by dragging the corners until it takes up the space from D7 to T20. So let's rearrange this over to D7 and all the way down to T20. Okay, then we right click on the x-axis and choose format axis. Select a fixed maximum of 50. And close. Right click on the data series in the graph and choose format data series. Change the marker options to built-in circles of size 20. Circle, 
size 20. The sc scatter plot should spell out the word congrats. Stop recording, view and edit the macro test. Okay, now we copy the code in the macro, other than the introduction and ending, and paste it at the bottom of the macro graph maker. So we copy, let's go up to graph maker, and paste. Okay, insert a line immediately after the scatter plot is created, and type active chart, parent name chart1, as shown on the screen. Okay. This code will ensure that the chart that was just created is the one which will be modified in later lines. Switch back to the standard Excel screen, and we're going to delete all the data and graphs from sheets 1, 2, and 3. So sheet 1 deleted, sheet 2, and now sheet 3. We're going to recopy the left half of the data from sheet 4 to sheet 2, and the right half of the data from sheet 4 to sheet 3. Okay, So the left half goes to sheet 2 and the right half we're going to copy and paste into sheet 3. Now we're going to press control G to run the program and this should create a graph that spells out congrats. Okay. Okay. So now we have to get rid of that line in the middle of the graph and the title, the axis labels, etc. Okay, so click on view, go over to macros, the drop down arrow, and click on view macros. Click on test, and we want to delete that. Say yes. Click on macros again, record macro. Type in test under macro name, make that control T, hit OK. Click on the axis and chart titles and delete them. And then click on the tread line and hit delete. And we should be good. Go up to macros, hit stop recording. Switch over to the macro screen, the VBA. We want to copy that section of the macro and paste it up above. Go back to the Excel sheet. We're going to try this again. So delete all the data from sheets 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to recopy the data from sheets 4 into sheets 2 and 3, just like we did before. So the left half goes to sheet 2. The right half goes to sheet 3. And now that we've altered the macro, it should appear the way we want it to. Okay, we press control G, it runs the macro, and here comes the graph. There we go. We did it. Congratulations.